All right, welcome everyone. It's quiz correction time. Um, what we're watching for here is the whole point of showing the models to make sure that we actually understand what division means um, and the results from it. So uh, visually wise here, we're drawn out seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight of them. And now I need to shade in seven of them. I want to divide them up into groups of three, eight. So which means I need one, two, three to make a group. One, two, three to make a group. So I don't have enough to make another group. So I am done. I'm ready to interpret. So how many groups could I make? I was able to make two groups. How many pieces were left over? One. And I wanted to make them into groups of three. So that's why that three is down there. All right, not an eight there. I wanted one, two, three to end up making a group. All right, so 9 tenths divided by 3 tenths. So again, we're going to draw out 9 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So I can shade in 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so again, we're dividing by 3 tenths. So I need groups of 3. All right, 1, 2, 3. There we go. 1, 2, 3. There we go. 1, 2, 3. Oh, I had exactly 3 groups. There was nothing left over. So I got 3 for an answer. All right, let's uh, take a peek at down below here, which is your algorithm technique. So this is that making sure we are rewriting it. So when we solve using the algorithm, we leave the first fraction alone. The division sign becomes a multiplication sign. And we take the reciprocal, which means to flip that second number. And now we go through our process of multiplying with fractions. So we're looking for cross division. I can divide both of these guys by... 3. So 3 divided by 3 is a 1. 9 divided by 3 is a 3. So we can multi... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's more. I can divide these guys by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now when I multiply it across, I get 4 thirds. We are done. All right. So again, leave the first fraction alone, change it to a multiplication problem, and then we flip that second fraction. Now there is cross division here. I can divide both of these by a two. Now, if you missed the cross division, you would have ended up with 30, 28, but then you need to simplify it. So it's easier to do your simplifying with your numbers that are smaller. I can divide both of these by a two. So I take six and divide it by two, I get a three. Take four and divide it by two, I get a two. So when I multiply across, I get 15 fourteenths. There's my answer. Now, if you divide 30 by 2, yes, you get 15. If you divide 20 by, 4, by 2, excuse me, you do get 14 as well. So if you miss the cross division, it's fine. You still have to make sure that you simplify. All right. So last one here, uh, 10 elevenths. We leave the first fraction alone, change it to multiplication, and we flip that second one. I'm looking for cross division, and a tear rolls across my cheek because there is none got to multiply across 40, 30 thirds. There you go. Show's over. Can't divide them by anything. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, show this to me to get your practice paper and you'll be on your way.